Godzilla, Kong, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidorah, Behemoth, and a lot of other titans have already been well grounded in the MonsterVerse. But in this episode, we will review some of the most bizarre and strange creatures that you might not have known about in this kaiju universe. Join us as we reveal some of the physical appearances, abilities, and causes of death that some of these creatures had to suffer. If you're one of those people that keeps coming back to watch these videos but haven't subscribed, then please hit that big red subscribe button to fill your feed with pure awesomeness. And go check out our merch! Coming up, MonsterVerse creatures you haven't heard about. Consider yourself knowledgeable if you are acquainted with at least three of these creatures. Note that not all of the animals discussed here are considered titans. And most importantly, take the existence of these animals with a grain of salt. Even though all of these are mentioned or depicted in official MonsterVerse material, it's still not 100% clear whether these are considered canon to the MonsterVerse timeline. Okay, enough disclaimers. Number 1. Giant Anomalocaris Let's travel back in time to the events prior to 1973 and land in 1953 at the Monarch headquarters. Here, this relatively new secret organization was commissioned to study massive unidentified terrestrial organisms that were starting to appear after the introduction of atomic technology. In the graphic novel Godzilla Awakening, we follow I.G. Serizawa, Ishiro Serizawa's father, inside a facility where they were holding a sample of the titan now known as Shinomura. But this isn't the only one we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on this interesting creature right here. There is no official name for this animal, but it was referred to as some sort of giant shrimp. By looking at some of its physical properties, we can tell that this animal features characteristics found in Cambrian organisms, almost like a mix of trilobites and this fella, the Anomalocaris, an ancient crustacean with a distinctive pair of curled appendages that it used to capture prey. But what was the purpose of having such a creature in this story? Later on, we see an image of Shinomura on top of a creature of the same species. It was mentioned in the book that Shinomura was a kaiju that heavily depended on high levels of radiation for survival, meaning that this creature must have also been highly radioactive. This is the first and only time we see this creature in an official MonsterVerse installment. The next creature on this list, however, just might appear in live action. Number 2. Margigra During the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters, Monarch had moved its headquarters to Castle Bravo, an extra-large concealed base located somewhere near Bermuda. Here, according to the official novelization of this film, Monarch scientists were studying a corpse belonging to a strange-looking kaiju called Margigra. This word originates from Norse mythology, meaning mermaid or another loose translation, sea giantess, suggesting that this kaiju was a female. This mystical creature was also referred to as being malevolent and evil at times. Our MonsterVerse rendition of Margigra is depicted as a bizarre-looking titan with a flat face and forward-facing eyes similar to a human. Its skull would reach to the back of its neck. Additionally, this titan is seen to have part of its skull revealed, with some of its armor and scales showing traces of burn marks. Additionally, the book states that this creature wasn't necessarily of titan proportions, but rather the size of a large whale. This is all we know about Margigra. But we want to know more. How did this thing die? To develop a feasible theory, we must take into account that this was an aquatic monster and that its wounds appear to have been caused by burn marks. This animal was also mentioned to be found somewhere in the Arctic Ocean. There is one monster in this kaiju universe that fits this description. Godzilla. Godzilla can be both a terrestrial and aquatic monster, shoot atomic rays underwater, and it's observed that during that time Godzilla would sometimes patrol the Arctic waters. Remember that the myth referred to Margigra as a malevolent creature, which is precisely the type of kaiju Godzilla would dispose of. Any creature of this size would prey on the larger creatures such as whales and perhaps grow up to become a greater threat to the G-Man himself. Which is why it was killed, if Godzilla in fact did kill this kaiju after all. The next creatures we're about to discuss probably suffered a more frightening fate. Enjoying this video? Please support the channel by checking out our official Goji Center emblem t-shirts on the link below, and a lot of other cool stuff as well. Okay, that's it. Number 3. Giant Ceratopsians In the film Kong Skull Island, we were taken to a frightening boneyard setting where we witnessed all sorts of dead creatures, including two individuals which just so happened to be Kong's parents. 
but there's another skeleton. This one. As you can see, this skeleton strongly resembles the well-known ceratopsian known as Triceratops, a three-horned herbivore that measured around 30 feet in length in the real world. Now we have to take into account that this particular Triceratops skull was much larger, suggesting that at some point in time, larger Triceratops specimens used to roam this island. These specimens would have dwarfed the Triceratops animals that we know today. So what happened to them? This is just a theory, but it is implied that everything laying in this boneyard was put to death by the swarm of skull crawlers that emerged from the depths. Anything that could be bitten into was taken apart by these predators until driven to extinction, which is what almost happened to the Kong species, except this fella. But given that Skull Island is in fact an extension of the biomes seen in the Hollow Earth, we could still see some of these lurking around in a future MonsterVerse film. Number 4. Giant Lemurs Yes, apparently there are giant lemurs in this kaiju universe, and these are pretty big. In Godzilla Dominion, the G-Man is found reminiscing on what the Earth used to look like and what it looks like now. In this flashback, Godzilla sees two lemur-like creatures that tower over the surrounding trees, meaning that these things are pretty big. In addition to that, these things have a tail tipped with a pointy end, which indicates these could possibly be used as a weapon. Moving on to this creature's back, we see that this thing had some discrete dorsal formations along its spine, somewhat similar to what Behemoth has. Finally, we see this creature had some pretty strong limbs. Toned musculature is seen in the original picture, suggesting that apart from being nimble creatures, these things could have also been strong animals. These closely resemble the ring-tailed lemur, which believe it or not, also fall under the order of primates. If you didn't know, these harmless-looking creatures are actually pretty aggressive towards humans, unless you own one as a pet. The funny thing about this monster is that it was actually a byproduct of some miscommunication within the production team of this comic. In the author's notes, this mention of a giant lemur was actually referencing an extinct lemur known as the Archaeoindris. This mention then turned into the illustration of a giant lemur-like kaiju. But what happened to them? This particular area in Godzilla's flashback shows that it is now underwater, meaning that over time, these creatures probably retreated to the hollow earth or are dormant somewhere, or they're just flat out extinct. Do you think any of these creatures mentioned in this list are still alive somewhere on the planet? Or do you think that they will never reappear in the MonsterVerse? Let us know in the comments. For more fun kaiju facts and mini documentaries, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.